Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing geared chimps, and I did research a start, so I already have one going. I only need to do a bit of micro, but I actually just recorded for, like, a couple rounds, but I felt like something was off. Like, I don't know how to put it, just, like, something felt off, and I don't have any pop effects. I tried fixing it, but I don't know. Um, I did figure out a start for this. It is just going to be a sniper on strong, the dart monkey, into, like, into four snipers, so I say I've just did a video on geared chimps and I obviously watched it. There we are. He used four snipers, I am too, it just seems like the best start. I did actually do a bit of testing, I know what I'm gonna kinda go for, but I need these on strong. So what actually led me to record this video is I originally was not planning on doing a video on this, I said I would do flooded valley chimps, and yes guys I know I've taken a week break, which is my biggest break yet, can't really call it a break, I kinda just quit for a week. But, um, I, I feel like I should come back, you know, like, I really, I really do like doing YouTube. It's definitely, at some point, like, a struggle to continue to find motivation. But we got our four sniper down here. And I was trying a couple different things. I was, like, doing Psy. But I think that the strategy I'm gonna go for is, like, sort of like a teleportation strategy. Where I'm gonna be trying to spam, uh, Dark Champions. Or not Dark Champions, Dark Knights. Um with you know triple discount and then dark champions with range so that we can teleport very far but i'll be getting corvus down as soon as possible and then i'll be trying to go for discount villages for super monkeys now the reason i'm not really worried about losing uh money is because corvus i can obviously do micro with him uh if necessary which i think i need to place corvus down like right here just so the speed it spawns no you know what it is my projectiles are off. That is what's different. There we are. Okay, I was doing I was doing a boss on my phone uh, this week's red balloon, and because the VTSG projectiles are so big, no paragons for tier uh, for the normal ones. I was like I couldn't see anything. But the reason I'm not too worried about losing, I'm like not having enough cash. Okay, this feels so much better. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I was so dumb, bro. Um, yeah. But the reason I'm not worried about losing on cash is because obviously Corvus can I, just, I can just use his mana. But I will be nourishing for most of the game. Um, because, you know, why not? But yeah, Dark Champions or Dark Knights, they can move around. And with range, they'll be able to move around a lot farther. Because only Dark Champions have global, global teleportation. And I'm just going to buy... We will snipe it. I probably should have just... Oh, wait, I couldn't even use this spell. I'll just manage, why not? But yeah, uh, Dark Champions, so triple discounting. Triple discounting because, you know, I'm only going to be buying tier 3s and tier 2s, and I can teleport them out of the way, so a triple discount is going to be very, very valuable. And, yeah, I mean, I think I'll try to uh, do the Grow with Galagazulu quest too. It's a, it's a very, it's a quest I was in, in, into the, put into the game a long time ago, sorry. Um, let's do, oh, I can't even do Spear. So, I guess, um, weirdly enough, we don't have enough for Spear, that's kind of annoying. So, I'm just gonna buy this and put him on Strong. I guess I'll be our Camo and Lad now, and, and Lead now. But now, I guess I'll keep Corvus with some mana. I'm gonna actually Nourish, and then, uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna Nourish and then use this ability, but I'm not even sure if the balloons are gonna get that far. You can do that. There we are. 300 mana. And then I'm gonna start placing the first discount village now. This is these are random places; they don't really matter. So like, okay, I don't know why I'm flinching so hard with that. But now I'm actually gonna. Okay, well this is taking so long to place this village. So actually now I'm going to need to. Let's see this. If I place the village like here, and then I place. Okay, watch this. Watch this guy's back. Place this here. When I place this, give the discount, I'm not going to have enough to buy camo. So actually forget what I said, let's see if this works. So just completely ignore that, that was completely pointless, and I'll just go for discounts anyway. I was going to go for the camo village, which I will need to because, did he get his camo ability this round? Uh, no, he had it last time, so I don't, I, okay, well what am I doing honestly? Who knows at this point? 
I don't really think I need to use spear there, but I did anyway. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get my third discount village like over here. Nope. I can't do that. We actually need to buy defense, or I need to micro core this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place down. This guy's gonna be here for the whole game, so I don't know. I can't buy that actually. So instead, we're gonna <laughs> do some Corvus micro. I said I did testing, and now I'm you know flubbing up the run like this. Actually, will we have enough money? So spear is the obvious um, thing to do, and I'll buy hard thorns on it just for fun. No lightning because I don't really need it. And yeah, oh, these are only camo still, but I think we're good. Yeah, we still are. And I should probably start buying my super monkey soon. I don't really need to triple discount the first one, but I think like five dark knights. I don't really know how good they are. I'll probably need to buy a glue storm and a lot of alchemists. But I think that that strategy is kind of good, right? I mean, I think it'll be. Dude, one, one, one white. And I can't even, can I like, is there any way I can siphon mana off of these guys? No. So I need to buy what? I need to hope that he snipes it or something, because I can't buy that actually. Oh wait, I did get just enough off of that to buy vision. When the camel whites come out right now, there we are. Look at that, guys! And we can afford our first super monkey. And I'm gonna put him right here. And then I'll be buying my third discount village too. Let's go with like. That's a good spot. I want to be able to. I want to be able to have like two super monkeys. I'm um, able to be upgraded at the same time. So I think second discount here looks good to me. Um, I'll probably bigger radius and jungle drums one of these villages. I think that'll probably be this one. Just so it can hit Corvus for the time being. Oh, wait, okay. So we're gonna need to do this, this, this. Will this be enough? It most certainly will not. But I was just about to say, we actually did get the Corvus ability. I'm gonna Ember early. And then when it pops, if it does pop, I wanna do that. Yeah, yeah there we are. Look at that, guys. I am goaded. Okay, now I'm gonna buy. Do I need camo? I need to wait for the super one to circle all the way back around. And just in case it doesn't work, I'm gonna save my money. I said I don't need to be too stingy about saving money. But here I am. I actually, the only reason I'm doing this run is because I lost on round 100. Did I actually just nourishment and then instantly lose? Please say I didn't nourish. I nourished actually, like, literally a, a two thirds. Of a second, or no, well, two thirds of a fast forward second before. So I literally do need to buy the camera ability now. That is so not really that funny, actually. You know what I could have done? I could have just teleported him up here. That's what we're gonna do for now. As I said, the first time I did this, I actually used a Spectre mid game. I did not use a Super Monkey. So I'm gonna teleport him up here, and we're gonna try to see if I can grab some stuff. 43, I didn't think was notoriously that hard. I thought it was always like 49. We're gonna dismiss it right away. And I think no more nourishing for now. I'm gonna move him back here, let's say. And I'm gonna start upgrading Super Monkey. One, two. Dark Knight, pretty quickly actually. I think that honestly, a Glue Strike will be, a Glue Storm will be better um, than a Alchemist for now. Because I wanna keep him around here. I want to be able to keep them with, you know, near the discounts, but I'm actually going to go for the range upgrades. Now I know we're going to get, you know, faster attacking speed or whatever, but I actually do want range because they'll be able to teleport a longer distance this time. And I'm going to put Corvus back at the start, actually, by epic range, and then I'm going to start moving this guy. Let's move him, you know, I want it to be in range of these two villages for camo and jungle jumps. Actually, I don't need camo. So should I jungle drums this village, so I can like move them like, you know, out here maybe? Like way out here. Oh shoot, wait. That's actually, that's actually a glitch. Um, <laughs> big, big brain moment for me. Do you guys see that? I just saw the balloons leaking, and then, you know what? We move them back here actually. Look at that. That's the real big brain play. Um, we'll spear, and then we will cancel it, and then we will nourish. 
Unless, oh, that is Soul Barrier. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Soul Barrier is nowhere near the correct ability. Honestly, what am I doing, guys? If someone could please explain that, um, that would be nice. Because I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. Yeah, he's pretty good. And I think we can put our next super monkey down. I think it'll be nice, you know, have just like a, a little spot. Kind of like, kind of like the super monkey building zone. Where this is where we're going to build those super monkeys. Before we throw them out of the nest. And he's actually doing pretty good. I'll move him back up here. Until we, until we flood the map with them, I'm going to need to keep, continue to move him counterclockwise, actually. So we're going to continue to move this guy against the grain. And then, I'll probably move this one down here somewhere. I think we can do that. Nope, I want to keep the discount. Remember, these discount villages are going to save us a butt ton of money, especially if I'm going for the spam strategy. They're each going to cost about, about 10k, right? Like what? Two and a half. We have to remember the 30% discount. So about 31, like 2,900. Um, no discounts. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm not really doing that math. Um, so that's about 1,500. <laughs> or sorry, 4,500, 9,000. Um, sorry, 10,500, 12,000, uh, 14,000 plus the 3,000 base. That's about 15k, 3k discount. So you're just gonna cost about 12,000. Look at that epic math. I know. I know. You're just gonna cost about 12,000. Do I have jungle jumps? Can I please get the jungle jumps? Jungle jumps is back here. It's gonna cost about 12,000. So I think. You know, maybe the strategy will work out, and maybe you guys won't get an upload from me for another, like, week. But, I think it will. If anything, I just, you know, place down an Apache Prime and we win. Or I place down a Carpet of Spikes or something. You know. Maybe I'll throw in a Comanche. Or maybe I'll throw in a Comanche or two, you know. I should probably be nourishing, because he'll actually get two mana a second. While he's this low. I'll probably actually keep him at the front. And that. And when he starts gaining one a second, that's when we have to keep nourishing. Here we are, on the next one. And yeah. I'll move this guy probably back here somewhere. Towards this lower edge. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna jungle jungle this village. For no particular reason, other than... Nope, we wanna keep the discount. What am I doing? I keep saying that every single time before, you know, it's completely going... Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 63 next round, so I'm actually gonna, you know, not that one. Move this one up here. Hmm. Hmm. Nourish. Disability. Get some mana back. Um, uh, um, 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 um. Let's see how good we're doing. What about with spear? <sighs> that is what I was worried about. Let's get him. Um, this one's doing nothing, so let's move him up a bit. This one's not doing anything really till the end, so I'm gonna move him. Let's give him the good spot. Let's put him in the put him in the hangar. And then let's do what about trample. Trample would be good here, right? Yeah, trample's good. Wave one. I will have this wave up for. Actually, I'll use this one for wave two. And we'll use spear. Did I actually use that a bit early? I'm not sure. And I'm gonna use the fourth ability for wave three. Fourth ability in the hot bar. Um, second course ability. Sorry, third course ability. And we're gonna dismiss spear, and then we're gonna nourish. That is really weird. I have not seen that happen before. And we're full again. So let's spear again. And we're gonna move this one. Um, the architect and the builder. We move this one over here. And then I said I'd... Actually, I'm going to go for the glue strike next. Triple discount him. Put him over here. Fast forwarded. I don't know why it's not fast forwarded. Can I actually... I might actually turn this one into a primary train. Just for a uh, glue storm 100% uptime. I think that'd be kind of cool. We're doing an ability heavy run actually. Which is kind of cool. Kind of surprising. Let's get glue strike. And then... 
trying to think of the paths. I think I'm gonna go with bottom path. I usually do. Actually, this top path, the extra damage doesn't really do anything. But this will actually give better slowdown on the ability, which is always good. So I'm kind of locking in no more up loose. Or actually, you know, a better way to say it is I'm locking in. Um, Nope, that's actually the only way I said. I'm locking in no more blues unless I forego using the ability. And I think I've literally not cut out a single part from this episode yet. I think I've literally talked the entire time. I guess I have a lot to say. You know? I really talked about much why I was gone. I just didn't really feel like it, you know. I actually started playing a lot of Overwatch. Um, I used to play a lot of Overwatch on controller, and I'm actually on PC now. And I have about 20 hours. Um, in the past week, which is, you know, to a lot of people that's like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. No, it's not. I average like 20 to 24 hours a week on Brawl Stars. Um, another couple hours on Balloons, other games. You know. Some people say sad, weird, you know, whatever. Definitely, I say fun. So much fun. I kind of want to start streaming this summer. I'm not sure if my parents are going to allow me to. I might stream Overwatch, Fortnite, Balloon Star Defense. Brawl Stars, maybe, if I can figure out how to do that. Do I want a 4 Super Monkey? I think I was building this right. How are these, how are these Super Monkeys doing? 33,000, 28, 24, 40. So Corvus is actually carrying right now. 43, he's actually carrying. Wow, I was going to say the Tier 3 is carrying, but you know, they're all Tier 3s. We have some base ones, then we have some Tier 3s. I guess we do have an ability of Tier 4. But you know. What's actually the point of moving Corvus? Why don't I just do that? Will it actually give me a different ability each time? It'll always give me this one. What if I what if I click on this guy and then Nope. Huh. Look at that. I wanna get this guy in jungle jump radius actually. So maybe I'll move him here. We'll continue to move him back bit by bit. Let's go with that ability. Um, nice sneaking. Oh, we died. Um, Corvus Micro seems to be needed. I will. Did we die to this part? We did not die to the start. We died to the end of the lane. So I think Echo, Spear, and then I will use this ability. Oh, we oh we died to the middle of the wave. Okay, okay. So spear. Let's just use spear for a while. We have a lot of mana. Then we'll echo it. Echo spear. Oh, whoa! Why are we? Let's actually buy something. Like, is there something I just buy? Found some bullet maybe. What's Corpus's next level? Increased damage when haunted and destroyed. Spear does more damage. Four hundred seventy dollars. Don't tell anyone. But spear is more damage. That'll actually be kind of coded. Um, that's actually a lot more damage. Oh my gosh, he shredded that first one. We will echo. What? I guess that was not the play. Hmm. Hmm. This dude's actually doing nothing down here. I'll, I'll move him. Moving up a bit. And then. If I just get down like a. I saw a triple discount there for a second, but yeah. What if I just get down. Uh, two full alchemies. That plus two damage on him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Not quite enough. I still have to use Corvus spell. What? I still died, bro. Okay. I'm gonna go for the jungle bounty. Actually, what if I went? What if I placed like a? You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna place an ace down here, like this, and then I'm going to out bucket, and then I'll get another super monkey down here. To have the other alpha in this. And then, 
Maybe spear isn't the play. Maybe it's like echo echo trample. Maybe big hands. Okay. We're gonna echo trample. Hooray! This next one, we're gonna do this. That destroys it. There we are, 76. Um, 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 um. Do we have enough DPS? We do. I think the jungles. We didn't actually buy jungles bounty. I forgot. I think the jungles bounty definitely helped with, um, or the jewel of the jungle helped with the DB grow. And I think I don't know if I build another super monkey ne next or another spectre. Or get spectre, sorry. I think I might build uh, just another super monkey. I'm actually gonna move this one closer again. As I said, I can actually move him, you know, um, all the way up here. Even though this is technically. So I'm yapping. Even though this is technically out of his range, it's not out of actual teleportation range. Where's the spot? I just saw it. He'll be doing stuff now. Corvus is moving back to the front. Tier 4 in this alpha. So it looks like Blue Storm is evidently just not going to die. And when this first wave storm comes out, we're doing that. We're doing that. And I don't need to echo trample. Echo trample, actually, nourish. That does nothing, bro. What am I? What's even the point of nourish? It does nothing, bro. Okay, whatever. You know what? Ah. Eat him up. Om nom nom. And then I think I think I'll go for Spectre. And if I can't Spectre, uh, Blue Storm. Because I feel like Blue Storm is going to be necessary. These guys are doing one damage. Alk buff. Makes him three. Blue Storm makes him five. Five damage? On a super monkey? That's pretty good. Savitars are insane like him. So are these guys. Let's see that. Um, I'm gonna echo trample. Just for fun. Even though I know that the Jewel of the Jungle actually has. That was not the correct ability. <laughs> uh. No, I'm trying to click cats. Okay, there we go. Slap, slap, slap. Yep, I think Echo begins. Okay, so now all of our defense is actually on the backside. Something that I forgot was now... They actually do have a bit of range. Back, back, back. I don't have overload yet. Wait, what overload? Where is it? Oh. So I think we're gonna have to really, you know, do what I said and actually have to start reordering where we are. So I think first of all, this one needs to be moved back a bit. So that this one can be moved in here. And I think I'm gonna be done building super monkeys. Can this one be moved in here? No. We'll move another one in there. I'm actually gonna move this one. He will do less over there. There's actually no spot for him in here. Okay, I'm good at that. We can live with that. Let's try this. We still got Ancestral Mic guy. Maybe I can move it up to the start of the track for a couple hits. Let's move Corvus over here. Let's start doing some stuff. Storm. Storm is good against Moabs, I know that. Let's do this. Storm is cooking now. And then I'm gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna move this guy up a bit. Move this guy. Actually, there's not a spot really for it anymore. Move Corvus over here. And I'm going to stop Storm. What am I doing, bro? No, stop Storm. Oh my gosh. Okay, we ran out of mana, I think. As soon as this, these guys start attacking. Hey! Closer than it needed to be. Um, but, you know, we did it. I think Spectre is needed more than Blue Storm at this point. We have Overload now. Echo! Disability. And we died. Two ceramics. Yep. 
So I think this is kind of where my defense completely falls apart and I lose a turn. Is when... They just don't attack, bro. Like, they just, they just don't attack me. These Dark Knights, these Dark Knights aren't going to do anything now. So I think Spectre's unaffordable. I think like a Bouncing Bullet will be our best bet. But that is not what I was going for, at least. So now we're going to... This glue strike. Let's use spear. Spear and echo. Echo spear. Super ceramics. Four. four. Okay. Why did I just yell four out loud, bro? We use literally all of our abilities and we barely beat that round. At least now these dark knights can do stuff again. Spectre. Very soon. Spectre is gonna, you know. I guess it's technically late game now. We have no good tier 5. I think maybe getting a dark champion. Maybe good. So now let's move them all back down here. Oh, what? No. You move down. You're gonna move back down too. Because we want to keep them buffed. So we can actually move them ahead of the curve. When it's rotating this way and they're back here, we can move them this way. And then we can go, you know, against the curd. I think I'm super smart, guys. I don't know about you, but I personally think that this strategy is kind of goaded. A lot of RNG, though. So, honestly, this is why you should watch this video before Black Border. It's a hella long video, bro. Ain't nobody watching this. I'm just gonna say it to myself. I'll edit out a bunch, probably. I'll find a way. There's definitely something in there that doesn't need to be said. So round 90, I died to DDTs because I did not use this ability soon enough. But the Dark Champions are out of range of buffs, so I'm going to start moving them. Actually, I'm going to keep them in there. But I just clicked the wrong ability. I need this one so that they can hit lead. There we are. And now we can actually move them back again, right back into the super village zone with all the villagers. And now we're gonna start cooking again. So I think if you know, if it's gonna take eight rounds, they'll be here for round 100. If my thinking is correct. And the reason I have 30k is not because that I think this defense will actually win. It will not. I doubt it. Um, I think 98. 98, they're literally gonna be like here. 96, they're gonna be completely useless. I'm saving up for a Carpet Spikes, or I'm saving up for a Dark Champion. I think a Dark Champion could really save this. Not that it's dead, sorry. That, that makes it seem like it's dead. Wow, I thought that I just wouldn't... Okay, well. We're actually going to need to move Corvus up here now. Whoa, I saw a spot there. Wow. Epic spot. Yep. So, 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 so. This is kind of going to be the peak of our defense. I think for 96, they're still going to be kind of useful. But not really in the most amazing spots. And for 98, we're really going to need to move him ahead. So I'll show you my epic micro that I'm doing here. And it is not going to be enough. Actually, I take it back. It is going to be amazing. Because I'm the best close player in the world. Not even true. Um, but I'm going to dismiss this. And I think I might just try to, um, like, not that ability. Okay. So here's the problem. These guys cannot pop light. But I think if I buy Glue Storm now, this is the one that can be turned into a mid. And it's only going to mid one of them. But if I buy Glue Storm, I'm probably going to not have enough for Carpus Fights. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Spirit of the Force is goaded. Not a popping DDTs, but it's just goaded. So, I'm going to be ready to slow it down. And I've got my hands on the correct buttons. Spirit of the Force is getting a lot of vines out. Come on. Spawn. Here. 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 I'm... Yeah. We're going to be permanent light popping. So, Blue Storm it is. We can still afford a lot of spike storms, though. A lot of spike storms. I have my fingers on the correct hotkeys. 
four of us is going to be moved over here. Soul barrier! I don't think we leaked anything there, but I do think the soul barrier was kind of necessary. 96. This is when our defense is not going to be mega useful, and I think that this round could be really tough. Now, if I first try it, um, I will be extremely, extremely happy. But I'm going to use Frostbound. Um, where is it? Repel? Frostbound, Repel, with a Spear. And I'm going to say that's enough, because it is going to be enough. It is most certainly not going to be enough. Wrong ability. I keep pressing the wrong ability. What does good wall damage this one does? We don't need spear anymore. Um, um, um. Yep, we lose. Uh, Soul Bear is still active somehow. Um, I guess let's move them up a bit more. I doubt that moving them up just a tad bit would do really anything. But you know, it can't hurt. It can't hurt. Actually, this could definitely change a lot. We're gonna keep them at the start, and we're gonna cast Spear a lot earlier. Echo Spear. Get that good mob damage in. I really wanna keep them at the start. Oh! I, it overloaded the com completely wrong spot, bro. Yep. I forgot to set it on strong before it overloaded. We're gonna go back here now and we're gonna use this one spear and then storm. And I'm gonna use this ability. And then I'm gonna press two and I'm gonna pull him back. If I can find a spot for him, which I cannot. Come on, this is enough. This is enough. Yeah, we got this. So now, um I need to siphon off these guys because I need to recover overload for next round. I'm j I, I need overload. If I don't have overload, I'm cooked. I think I'm cooked either way, honestly. I might be cooked to 97 actually. Hold on. Um, is that is that the furthest forward one? The fur there's one there's like one spot I can sit, bro. And then these two need to be moved this way. Okay, stop recovering. You've you recovered enough. Here, here, here. Um, storm, spear. God damn it! God damn it! Wait, I can use. I can. I can abuse that bug. I can abuse that bug. Can't I? I could. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Please! 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 Work! I said work! Yes, it worked. But none of my abilities are good. All my abilities are bad. As in, not on cooldown. So now we are going to... I need to Echo Overload. Spike Storm! Echo, here. Overload. Echo Overload, OP. That is one thing that I know. And I think it did wait. Blue storm is glitched. Blue storm is gonna be glitched now, isn't it? It is. Mentoring. I need the ability faster. Here. I need him getting all the mana he can. I just have to use it. I have to use it. Um. Strong. Get on those UMGs. Echo. Overload. It did nothing, did it? It did nothing, bro. <sighs> okay, here's gonna be another thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to overclock the Spectre. Overclock the Spectre. Seven abilities is actually gonna be kinda hard to manage. Um Get the get the mana, bro! Get the mana! Oh my gosh. Oh, because I usually build in the long way. 
Nah, no, no, no. That works. I can feel it. I can feel it, bro. This is gonna be the most diabolical round. This is gonna be the round that ends us. But we will overcome. This guy is doing nothing. But sadly, we can't move him, so I'm just gonna move him. Up. These two also should probably just be moved. Um, so we'll move them up. Okay. Next run. It is going to be in this order. We are going to overclock. Spike storm. Put this guy on strong. Echo one. Overload. Then this. I don't know, move him over here maybe? For when this ability comes up. It's not enough. No, it's enough. It's enough. We can do this. We can do this. We did it! We did it! I got it! It worked! It worked! And... Nope! Guys. I literally got it. I literally got it, bro. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh... Oh my starry stars, bro. That is how... That is how absolutely ridiculous I feel right now. That I'll save something goofy like that. That's your, that's your one time goofy say something for me, bro. Holy. That was actually tough. So much editing for my day back. <sighs> Imagine I lose on round 100 again. No, we recovered. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get Echo Overload again. Who knows? Let's get this. Bam, bam. Put him over here. Why am I lagging so much? Dismiss it. Echo. One. Overload. And there we have it. Hey, it actually rewarded us for efforts, Archmage. Um, yeah. So, uh, forget about the Dark Champions. 200k, 150. Um, 27,006. Let's see what Corvus did. Where are you, Corvus? Corvus did is 374,000. We did good. Um, this one actually... I'm surprised that one didn't have the most. Though it doesn't surprise me at the one I... Wow, that's actually a surprising. 100k on him. Um, 100,000. 100 on him. 25k on him, actually. But it seemed like Spectre cooked. Spectre cooked. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.